Inflation rate in India needs a closer look at trends between 1990 and 2024. Inflation or a rise in the general price level of goods and services has long been a subject of concern and debate around India and also around the world. It affects everything from the cost of groceries and housing to the economy's overall health. As the nation gears up for 2024 verdict, it becomes crucial to delve into inflation in India to better understand the country's economic situation. Today's discussion aims to provide insights into the Indian inflation rate between 1990 and 2024 and its implications. According to the data released by the National Statistics Office, that is NSO, India's retail inflation rate, that is CPI or Consumer Price Index, is at 5.09% in February 2024. However, the current inflation remains in the Reserve Bank of India's tolerance band which has an upper limit up to 6%. The consumer price index measures changes in the average price levels of goods and services purchased by households over a time and it measures inflation and indicates the cost of living for consumers. Consumer price index is calculated by selecting a basket of goods and services that represent typical consumer purchases and tracking the changes in their prices over a period of time. The index is often used to adjust wages, pensions and government benefits to account for changes in purchasing power. The government of India establishes the inflation target in India in accordance with the Reserve Bank of India. While the government sets an inflation target once every five years, the authority responsible for controlling inflation through monetary policies lies with the Reserve Bank of India. Be that as it may, on the part of CPA and who determines CPA, etc. Currently, when India's retail inflation rate, that is CPI or Consumer Price Index, is at 5.09%, the inflation rate in the rural areas is higher and it is at 5.34% as of the latest numbers. Further, the worrisome factor is the food inflation. Cost of food in India increased 8.52% in March of 2024 over the same month in the previous year. What are the negative impacts of inflation on the economy is what the question that arises particularly when the food inflation is high and the rural inflation is high. Inflation definitely has detrimental effects on the economy as it diminishes the purchasing power of individuals over a period of time. It leads to a sustained increase in the prices of goods and services, reducing the affordability of essential items. Another interesting question that daunts each one of us is, is India's inflation a dangerous scenario? Of course, answer for the same has to be deduced from the evidence-based historical data. Yes, inflation in any country, including India, follows a wave theory based on the economic policies of a particular country and its interdependence on world for its exports and imports, forex changes, supply chains, geopolitical uncertainties, etc. If we analyze the inflation data between 1990 and 2024, it crystal clearly shows us the waves forming part of the inflation trend between 1990 and 2024. If we see the waves and if we see where exactly inflation peaked and again how it got reduced and how it got paused and how it got increased over a period of time, we can definitely come to an understanding that 
in 1991 inflation had a peak rate of around 13.87% followed by 1998 wherein the inflation was 13.23% and in 2010 the inflation was 11.99% and in 1992 the inflation was around 11.79% and in 2009 it was around 10.88% and in 1994 it was 10.25% in 1995 it was 10.02% in 2013 it was 10.02% so all that inflation rate which was above 10% and the corresponding years have been identified by me with the data sets available all that indicates that 1991 1998 2010 1992 2009 1994 1995 2013 2013 are the years in which the inflation was above 10% in india for the period that we have taken for analysis that is between 1990 and 2024 further when we see the data points with reference to the low inflation rate in india the corresponding years are 2018 with an inflation rate of 3.94% and 2003 with an inflation rate of 3.81% 2001 with an inflation rate of 3.78% 2004 with 3.77% 2019 with 3.73% and 2017 3.33% these numbers can also be analyzed with the help of the wave trend graph that was presented by me on the screen given that it clearly establishes the fact that the wave theory prevails as far as inflation is concerned in economics as per wave theory of inflation in economics cost of things has been rising over the millennia but it follows a wave like pattern prices rise for a period and takes a pause decline and then consolidate and then rise once again this is what even we can see from the wave that it got formed between 1990 and 2024 as far as india's inflation rate goes so what is happening is that there is an underlying factor driving the prices higher it is more than just the money supply as some economists might assert besides population and demographic changes there are various influencing factors for inflation there are monetary policy of central banks fiscal policy of government on spending and taxation aggregate demand where demand for goods and services exceeds supply cost of production that is increases in cost of labor raw material or other inputs exchange rates in terms of changes in exchange rates affecting the prices of imported goods and commodities supply shocks in terms of disruption to the supply of goods and services such as natural disasters geopolitical events or supply chain disruptions cause temporary spikes in prices leading to inflation further inflation expectations also create inflation if business and consumers expect prices to rise in the future they may adjust their behavior by demanding higher wages or making purchases sooner which can fuel inflation further global economic conditions wage growth as a trend and regulatory policies too add to the inflationary trend of course many of these factors interact in complex ways and their relative importance can vary depending on the economic context and the specific circumstances of a country or region central banks and policy makers closely monitor these factors to manage inflation and maintain price stability however once prices start rising human intervention takes place to exploit the situation investors buy assets that will keep their value during the inflation that is property land 
and shares. They also borrow money to invest knowing that inflation will erode their true value of their capital and repayments. However, that borrowed money increases the money supply which then fuels more inflation in the economy. Governments also join in and encourage inflation as it allows them to spend more and let inflation deal with their deficits. Hope the information is useful. Thank you very much.